This tutorial will walk you through the steps of authorizing a global grant application. This video will show you how to authorize a grant if you are a primary contact or a district officer and will also explain how to authorize DDF. The online system works best when using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. If you do not have one of these browsers, we recommend that you download one. The system also works best when using a desktop or laptop computer rather than a mobile device or tablet. Before we get started with the details of how to authorize an application, let's go over the two types of authorization for a global grant. Authorization of the grant application and authorization of DDF. The grant application itself needs to be authorized by the following individuals. The District Rotary Foundation Committee Chair for both the host and international sponsor districts, the primary contact for the club or district hosting the grant, and the primary contact for the international club or district sponsor. Please keep in mind that secondary contacts or committee members who do not fall into any of the roles just mentioned do not and cannot authorize the grant. For any district contributing DDF to a project, the following individuals need to authorize the amount of DDF being used. The District Rotary Foundation Committee Chair and the District Governor. In order to authorize an application, you will first need to log in to the online grant application system. Once you are there, select Global Grants. On this page, you will see all of the grants for your district. Find the heading Applications. Then, select the number of the grant that you need to authorize. You'll see the status of the grant next to the title. Click Open to the right of the record. Once you have reviewed the grant and are ready to authorize it, go to the Authorizations tab. If there are any pending items for your grant, they will appear in red on this page and you will not be able to authorize the grant until they have been addressed. Once you have completed all pending items, you will be able to check the box indicating that the grant is complete. Make sure that your grant is complete before you begin the authorization process. Once the process has begun, you will not be able to edit the grant. Remember to consult the Rotary Grants Terms and Conditions document in order to ensure that your budget items and grant activities are eligible for funding. In order to change an item in the budget after submitting the grant, the authorizations must be cleared. You will also notice that this page features the names of all of the district officials who need to authorize the grant. These are here to let you know the status of your grant's authorizations. If you are the DRFC chair for the primary host or international sponsoring district, you will need to authorize both the application itself and the DDF. You must authorize the application itself from the DRFC Authorizations tab. You can also authorize the DDF from here if you would like, or you can follow the same steps as the district governor, which we will explain in a moment. The DRFC chair and the district governor will need to authorize the DDF being committed by their district for the grant. Any grants that are pending DDF authorization will be located under the heading Attention Needed. Select the grant that you would like to authorize from the list by clicking Open next to the grant title. Review the amount listed and make sure that it is correct. Once you have verified the amount, simply click Authorize. Remember that both the District Governor and the DRFC Chair will need to complete this process. One thing to keep in mind is that the authorizations can be completed in any order. However, one of the primary contacts will need to submit the application once all authorizations are complete. You should now understand how to authorize a global grant application, as well as how to authorize DDF if your district is contributing funds to a project.